What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new John Goodman film, 10 Cloverfield Lane. In his directorial feature film debut, Dan Trachtenberg was handed the reins of 10 Cloverfield Lane, which going into it was basically a totally unknown film to everyone. Some people speculated that it may be a sort of spiritual successor to the original Cloverfield, which came out in 2008, which was a found footage uh, monster movie. And this one from the trailers looks like some sort of doomsday bunker survival story. And let me tell you, this movie goes all over the place and it does it so well. Now to start off with, this movie's cast does an amazing job. Mary Weinstead and specifically John Goodman are both very good in this film. Mary Weinstead gives us another feeling of what like a sci-fi heroine could be like. She's not exactly Ripley from Alien, but she actually is really good compared to what most of the heroines that we get in films are nowadays. She's a problem solver, she's very smart, and she's not much to whine about what's going on she's much more for taking action throughout this film. And I think that part of this is due to the fact that this film's script is so good. It builds her such a strong character, and John Goodman's character is so strong, along with John Gallagher Jr. He's also very good in this film, though he has sort of a smaller role. But they are all really good throughout this film, and this script has to build these characters inside these confined walls of a doomsday bunker that you're in for this movie. And you wake up there with Mary Wine Einstein's character and you don't know what's going on just like she doesn't know what's going on and throughout this movie they just sort of pull this thread and you have to keep getting pulled deeper and deeper into this story trying to figure out what's going on really. And speaking of that doomsday bunker, it's an extremely interesting and provocative setting to place this film, being as you only have three characters down there through the entire film, and you get these small moments where you actually feel like they're sort of becoming a family, which is weird because all of them are down there for such terrible circumstances, and circumstances that they don't even know if are true. And that's the big thing about this movie, is this whole movie is a psychological thriller because throughout the entire film, you don't know what to believe and what not to believe and it keeps you guessing the entire time you're watching it and then when you finally think you have it figured out and you think you know what's gonna happen it throws more and more stuff at you and you just finally by the time it gets near the end of the film you kind of just throw all your ideas at the window and just sit there and are engulfed by this film to figure out what happened and just to see it visualized on screen for his directorial debut Treckenberg does a great job with this film I think he directs it beautifully being a he has such a small space to work with in the Doomsday Bunker, I think he does a great job using it. Now the only thing that I really thought was wrong with this film is something I can't say because it's a spoiler. So I don't want to spoil anything because this movie is great and the suspense is what makes this movie so great. So all I will say is in the third act there are a couple um, moments that happen that I feel are a tad cliche or they don't necessarily fit with the story that we have seen unfold thus far on the screen. That's all I will say. I'm going to give 10 Cloverfield Lane an A-. I highly recommend checking out 10 Cloverfield Lane if you are a fan of psychological thrillers or any type of movie that keeps you guessing and you never really know what's going on till the very end. Go see this movie, you will have a great time with it. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of 10 Cloverfield Lane, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.